For every 99 yard touchdown I score in the next 30 minutes, I get to add a 99 overall player to one of the worst teams in the NFL. Imagine we actually score here play number one. Guess I'll just heave up an absolute prayer, hope my receiver can come down with it. Yep, this might be pretty difficult. Hopefully we have better results here. Play number two. I mean, he's open. He's actually Ooh. wide open and he knocks the ball out of his hands. Come on, you're better than that. Now, at the end of these 30 minutes, we'll take the team that I've built and simulate to the end of the year. And if the Bears don't end the season with the NFC's one seed, I have to buy and give away a Justin Fields jersey to a random subscriber in the comments. I don't want to waste my money, man. It's the holidays. I've already spent too much. Come on, somebody's got to make a play here. We've got to get to adding 99 rated fast. Come on, bro. I I want to build an absolute god squad. Maybe Cole Komet can come down with this. Oh, he can't catch either. Now, you'll notice we're just simply heaving the ball deep here, hoping for a prayer. But for each touchdown that we score, we move on to the next 99-yard challenge. That'll get tougher and tougher. But thank God challenge one is just to score any way humanly possible. This is by far the easiest challenge we have to complete all day, so I'd rather score quickly so we can get on to the other challenges. I mean, at this rate, we might not be able to add a single 99 overall. Like, maybe, just maybe, you can make this catch and break a tackle. I mean, at least you hung on. I'm just gonna give Cole Komet a chance, and I think it went right through his hands. Bro, we're already two minutes in and I haven't even snuffed a 99 yard touchdown yet. Like somebody's got to make a play fast and this isn't the one. Hey, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Make this catch in stride, please, please. The shoestring tackle actually got us. No, we've barely started and my heart has been broken so many times already. And it continues to break. If this is the easiest challenge we have all day, like what's gonna happen when we get to the tougher ones? Oh my god, it's about time you got big! I mean, I need to, like, actually concentrate here. That's actually a lot closer than what I thought before. Boys, I'll take it. Let's go. Thank God Darnell got his gym membership because that just got us our first 99 overall. Talk about a half-decent addition to our front seven. Welcome to the Chicago defensive line, Aaron Donald. It's just so funny how much he doesn't look like he belongs on this untalented defense. But hopefully by the end, we've bulletproofed this team so we can actually get the one seed. I really don't want to waste my money on a field's job. Jersey. Now, if we somehow run out of 99 rated players to add, we'll move to adding 98 rated players. But these challenges are about to get real wild real quick, so I doubt we even get there, man. Now, for challenge two, we've got to complete the pass and score the touchdown with the Bears' lowest rated receiver. He's literally a 64 rated receiver, man. This is going to be impossible. Hopefully he can prove me wrong though. And keep in mind we added Aaron Donald and there he is. So that's an interesting dynamic. Every defensive player that we add is also gonna make it harder on us. You thought this challenge was tough, I'm telling you. If we somehow find a way to complete this, they're only gonna get tougher. All it takes is one play, man. One busted coverage, and that's gonna be a catch and stride. Does he have the speed? Can he break the tackles? He broke two, but couldn't break the third. I mean... What was that? Yeah, this is definitely the worst receiver in the league. Honestly, this receiver would probably still drop the ball if he was wide open. And he just proved me wrong, but he still, man, hasn't gotten the gym. Well past the 25-minute mark now, boys. Things are not looking good unless this heathen can make a play here soon. Like, half the plays, you don't even touch the football. I might have overestimated my ability, man. This actually might be so much harder what I initially anticipated. Like, you can't hang on to anything. If looks the game that we actually had time, if he can catch us in stride, break one tackle, I, 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 he just can't. He just can't. You're one-on-one. -on -one. Please catch this in stride. Or just drop it like you have the last 16 plays. Okay, he's so open. Please, a good throw. That's a dime. Just run the ball. You might be the lowest rated receiver on the team. It might have taken you a really long time. But as long as you can outlast number nine, you've finally proven your worth. Let's go. We've achieved the possible and actually scored a 99-yard touchdown with the lowest receiver on the Chicago Bears. He almost got hopped down, though. You can't go wrong with adding one of the greatest offensive tackles of all time. We had to get Trent to protect. Justin Fields blind side and since that's taken care of hopefully we can get to adding Justin some more playmakers because Lord knows that's what both of us needs now that we have Trent blocking Aaron Donald over there for challenge three I've got to run a 99 yard touchdown with my good friend in Chicago Bear Darrington Evans I mean they did him dirty he's only a 70 overall so even though he's my friend and all this is not gonna be easy it'd be the most electric thing in the entire world if he could do this play number one I mean, it was a pretty impressive run. 
I mean, he does have a little speed on him. Oh, if we could have broke that tackle, maybe, just maybe that was it. I need you to score this one quick too, Darrington, because we need time for the other challenges that are actually going to be harder than this. Much harder. And we're so close to being like a third of the way through of our allocated time. And I have so many more players that I need to add to make sure we get a one seed. Why are they stacking the box so much? Like, do they know what we're doing? We might get past you. We got past him. What was number four doing? I got all excited for nothing. Literally nothing. I was just so distracted at the fact that guy didn't get a hand on me. Oh, please, somebody block with all your might. Darrington, you have the speed. Did we finally do it? Literally at the 10-minute mark. Darrington to the end zone. Let's go! You know what? He actually ended up making pretty good freaking time. You guys remember when I said we needed a playmaker? Well, I just went and got the highest-rated skill position player in the entire game. Justin Phillips now has the best tackle in the league blocking for him. He now has one of the best receivers in the entire league. And that already brings brings one of the worst initial teams in the NFL to a respectable team rating of 80 overall. Got to start working on this defense again though. Now for challenge number four, I've got to complete a screen pass for 99 yards to David Montgomery. And screen passes are so freaking tricky in this game, man. Like they're so hard to get off. Like look, we barely made it out of the end zone and we might now actually score. Bruh. Play number one, I spin move for no reason. That was actually on me. What the frick was I doing? I'm the problem, it's me. I'm so disappointed in myself. Dude, that really could have been it. He's like making sure we don't get stopped for a safety. David, no way you just did that. No way David just put the challenge on his back. The 20, the 10, the 5. What a play, David. David obviously wants that one seed just as bad as I do. Talk about some heavy defensive reinforcements. Adding this guy's one way to make sure you don't score on another screen pass. We now have Aaron Donald and Miles Garrett on the same defensive line. Opposing QBs are horrified. And Miles Garrett alone brings that team overall up to 82 and the defense up to an 80. But for the rest of the challenges, we're going to have both Aaron Donald and Miles Garrett chasing Justin Fields. Which for challenge number four, Darrington's back in and somehow has got to score a touchdown on a pass out of the backfield. They're coming out man three deep. Like, this isn't fair. They know what we're trying to attempt. This collusion. This challenge is actually so hard that it might end up chewing the rest of our clock. Like, we might not even get to the next challenge. Or maybe, just maybe, miracles can happen. Not here. I mean, if Justin can make this throw, Darrington's got a step. And he made the catch, but Darrington, bro, do we need to work out together? Ah, great freaking Miles Garrett in the flesh. Well, this ended up being a super interesting pass attempt, Justin. From now on, I'm literally blocking everybody possible because I cannot stand that pass rush. If he can catch this in stride, we might have a chance. And at the last second, the DB tipped it. Come on, a good throw, Justin. There's a deep safety there and he's gonna knock it down, isn't he? At this point, literally every pass that we get off is a dub because that pass rush is just too disgusting. He made the catch. Just run, brother. No way anybody can catches you you're too fast you're too fast number four is close but not close enough let's go bro my adrenaline rush should not be so intense like i'm 27 years old man although it's currently mickey mouse welcome the newest 99 rated receiver to the bears fields has got both Devonte adams and cooper cup to throw to but this defense still has a lot of work to do if we want any chance of getting the one seed i hope so because i want to save my money now for challenge number six we have got to find a way to score on a Hail Mary. Imagine we actually do this attempt number one. I mean, like, we have the receivers to do so. Like, Devontae, Cooper Cup, Darnell Mooney, breaking some tackles? What in the world? What the frick? Like, I didn't even know what to say. Darnell Mooney just about made the biggest play of his entire life. One lucky tip is all that it's gonna take, and we don't get it here. It's been about a minute. We've literally had zero luck. Not even one catch in the past minute after we started off with two straight. It's like the more attempts that we have at this Hail Mary, the stronger the Bears secondary gets. Come on, Cooper Cup, Devontae Adams, one of you have got to make a play. Like, this secondary isn't even good. Cooper Cup, Devontae, please, dude. Devontae couldn't even hold on to the tip. Why did I even add you? Even Cole Komet down there, like, you're a big boy. Can you come up with something? I only think one of our players tried to catch that. I mean, it is kind of like four on 10. Okay, finally, like that's our first catch in like the last three minutes. Just throw it as far as you can, Justin. Wish we had Patrick Mahomes. He could throw it all the way to the end zone. Who's gonna be the one to put their names in the history books? 
None of you, apparently. We've finally gone under the 10 minute mark. We've had no luck at all the last few minutes. Not even one lucky tip catch. I just want to be reminded that there's some promise in these receivers. Like, we didn't add two 99s for nothing. Come on, bro. Luck has got to be on our side eventually. We just need a lucky bounce. We just need a lucky catch. We just need a lucky break. And no way! Right on freaking Q! Darnell Mooney, let's go! Not 99 Cup, not 99 Adams. The original bear, Darnell Mooney, literally making the biggest play of his entire life. Might be another Mickey Mouse member of the 99 Club, but you best believe I'm ecstatic that Nicholas Chubb is now a Chicago Bear. Browns fans, look away. How's opposing defense is supposed to stop an offense that has Justin Fields who can run the ball, hand it off to Nick Chubb, throw it to Devontae Adams or Cooper Cup? But even though this offense is so freaking good, Good. We really hope they can just outscore opponents because this defense still isn't looking too good. Although our team overall is up to an 83 with an 87 offense and an 80 defense. But crazy enough, we've already snagged up every single member of the 99 club. So if we complete another challenge, I get a choice of one of these 98 rated players. And now for challenge number seven, we have literally got to scramble with Justin Fields for a 99 yard touchdown. How's he supposed to do this with Miles Garrett and Aaron Donald keeping him from passing? the line of scrimmage. I mean, Justin Fields has broken off some long runs in real life, but I told you guys we might struggle to get out of our own end zone. Under nine minutes to go, and it's a very good possibility we don't even complete this, although this is an insane attempt. Justin Fields go, no! I'm so sad, dude. I honestly don't know if we'll get another chance like that the rest of the challenge. And I really need to at least get one more touchdown because I need to upgrade the defense, man. It is too putrid. And Justin Fields is trying his absolute darndest, but uh, we only need about 80 more yards there. A few minutes have gone by, bro, and I swear to you, we have not made it past the 20-yard line once. At this point, I'm just excited if we can get out of our own end zone. As you can tell, that's a rare occurrence. Like, I really don't know if the team that we've assembled so far is bulletproof enough to be sure the one seed. If anything, I hope we can just get a half-decent run here so I can remember what it feels like to get out of our own end zone. I told you guys these challenges were gonna get harder and harder. And if we somehow find a way to complete this one, I'm telling you the next one is literally impossible. The safeties are up. That's always a good thing. So we get outside of them, break a tackle. Maybe, just maybe, he can outrun the rest of the defense. No, he can't. No, he freaking can't. Can we block a little bit better darnell mooney on the outside a wide receiver held his block that could have been a touchdown and oh there we're back again to getting stopped in our own end zone for a safety we literally have three minutes to go and right now i literally have zero faith my faith meter uh, is probably in the negatives who would have thought the most time consuming challenge and the hardest would be having to scramble with a 93 speed quarterback like he's fast and all so i don't know why this is so hard i'm gonna try my absolute darnest to lock in here because we need another upgrade so bad not a lot of time to try to get one i cannot explain how excited i'm gonna be if we find a way to walk this off but we only have time for like one or two more plays. They blitzed everybody. Can we get to the outside? We did. We did. Please block for me. Block for me, Justin Fields. This is going to be the most insane thing I've ever seen, dude. I want to puke. I actually want to puke. You're telling me Justin Fields doesn't have that breakaway speed? We're getting this last attempt off with no time on the clock. And boys, Justin failed. I mean, we still build a really good team. Like, we have stars everywhere. And obviously, opposing quarterbacks are going to have problems. But, like, the back seven of our defense is just not good. Like, look at this linebacking core, man. Like, is that really a one-seed caliber linebacking core? I have got to get the one seed or I have to give away a Justin Fields jersey to a random subscriber in the comments. And I just really don't want to waste my money. Please, man, don't screw us. All that's left is the crime boys either that or a fat smile from yours truly dude literally the moment of truth please Boom! let's go hold on hold on let me confirm let me confirm let me confirm we actually did the impossible what a season the new look chicago bears had they combined for 31 sacks now do we have enough to actually bring a super bowl to chicago oh my god dudes we're actually so close we beat the bucks and oh my god we beat the packers our rival in the conference championship we can't have accomplished everything that we have today just to lose in the super bowl to josh allen and the bills boo out of all the 99s that we added, Matt Milano ends up winning Super Bowl MVP. At least I avoided today's forfeit, though. Now, if you enjoyed that one, click right here to watch me add the best rookies in the NFL for every 99-yard touchdown that I scored.